Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over techniques you can use to make cool navigation menu with Peekaboo Text. Okay, so I've got a simple navigation menu here, and if we check out the code, especially the HTML, you'll see there's really not much to it. Now, if you view the um, course, or I'm sorry, if you view the description for the video, beneath the video, you'll find a link to this file so you can check it out and you can view the source code and get all that stuff. And I'm going to be using the same file for multiple navigation menus, so there's going to be a few things on here in the videos that follow. Now, this particular one, I'm also including a span. Notice the span is inside of the list item adjacent to the anchor and that span contains some text and I've also got a little image in there. I've already got the images saved and ready to go. So each little uh, span is going to have its own icon associated with that particular text. And since I'll be using multiple nav menus on the same page, I'm going to enclose them all in articles and give them unique IDs so that I can reference them individually for the styling part of things. Now for the CSS, I'm going to go ahead and take all of my CSS rules get rid of those, save, and so we can see how this menu looks in its original state. And this is what we have. We have our typical unordered list, um, list items, and you can of course see the span text and the images. So let's make this menu. First thing I'm going to do for the nav menu though is create a rule for the list item. In this list item, first and foremost, is let's get rid of those bullets with list style type none. Let me go and zoom in a little bit more on here. So I'm going to get rid of those bullets. I'm going to set the width of these list items to about 200 pixels wide and about 40 pixels tall. And then I'll set a margin of about 4 pixels on all four sides. That's very good. Okay. And I'm also going to control the anchors that are within the list items. And ooh, before I do this, let me go ahead and save this, browser refresh. So I'm going to go in stages here. And I'm going to go ahead and do a display block. This is a pretty critical step. For navigation menus, you're almost always going to want to do anchor display block because now you can make the anchors behave like buttons. I can set their width and their height and I'll do the same that I had for the list items. I'll give them a border so you can see things. So you can really stands out to you. I'm going to go ahead and do text align center. I'm going to do a line height of 40 pixels Notice the line height is the same as the height. This will give me some vertical centering of the text, which is great if you only have one line of text. Multiple lines of text, not such a good way to go. And I'll do that text decoration none to get rid of the underlining. And I'll give them a background color and a font color. Okay, there we go. So things are moving along here, and we can see that I got my basic nav menu structure, and I can hover over any of these to get to that particular menu item. Now I want to focus on the spans that are inside of those list items. So the spans that are inside of the list item, I'm going to do a display block because a span is by default an inline element, so make it a block. I'm going to go ahead and do the good old 200. No, no, let's go a little bit bigger with these. Um, I'm going to do 240 pixels and height. I'll still do the same 40 pixels. And I'm going to have to position these absolute because I want them to end up being behind my anchors. So I'll do a position absolute. And I'll start off just with top 0px, left 0px. Now when I position something absolutely, I like it to be within a relatively positioned item or an absolutely positioned item. So I'm going to scroll back up to my list item rule and I'm going to tack on position relative. If I didn't do this for the list item, then my spans would be positioned based on the body of the page, which I definitely don't want. So I want the spans to be positioned based on the list item that is their parent. Span is a child of the list item. So let's go ahead and see how things are looking just so we can get an overview. And already things are a little bit better. Let me uh, stick a border. on those so you can see them. And you can see right away that my spans are actually on top of the anchor. My anchors have a red border, my spans have a green border, and you can just barely see the text in there. So that lets us know they're right on top of things. I'm going to leave them there for just a second. I'll go ahead and do a little line height action of about 40 pixels. 
and a little padding left of about four pixels. Kind of gets things going on. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to take the the images that are inside of those spans. I'm going to go ahead and uh, position them absolute, and I'll do top 0px, right 0px. So now we have a situation. I want to position the images that are in the span. So the images are position absolute, and since my, my spans are already position absolute, that's okay. My image will be positioned based on their span parent, and the span parent is going to be positioned based on its list item parent. So when I save this and refresh, things are starting to line up where I want. Now to get the spans behind the anchors, this is really easy. We just do a Z index, and I just need a low number, so I'll do a negative one, and that's going to put them back there. So now everything's looking good in its original state. The only thing left really is the hover status. So when I hover over an anchor tag, I'm going to take the span that is adjacent to the anchor, adjacent selector there. When I, I'm going to take that span and I'm going to change its left positioning to um, 210 pixels. That's going to push it out. Remember my uh, anchor tags are 200 pixels wide, so this should push it out a little bit beyond there. Refresh. There we go. That's the effect I'm looking for. Excellent. Now let's add a little bit of transition to those spans. I'll do a transition. I'm just going to change the left characteristics. I'll do 400 milliseconds. Ease in out. Save that. Browser refresh. And the illusion is complete. So there we go. Nav menu with a little peekaboo text.